Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Kamilia Zara Alamsyah and my BP number is 2017320232. This video was made uh, for uh, completing my assignment for in, uh, for the subject English Syntax Class D with Mr. Hanafi SSM at Link PhD. So, I would like to explain about the synthetic form and syntactic functions in details. First, we have synthetic form. Synthetic forms uh, that I would like to explain is word, phrase, clause, and sentence. Okay, uh, get on to the word. A uh, word, according to Ganati 2014, is an independent, phonologically coherent linguistic with a coherent linguistic unit that contain containing of uh, one or more morphemes and can be fulfilled a particular slot in a sentence. Uh, simply, word is a single unit of language that have meaning and can be spoken or written. For example, the sentence of my love is always with you. This sentence contains of words which uh, around 5, 6, or 7. My love is always with you. It contains of 6 words which are put in order. Uh, if we separate it into some, uh, separate it, it will make, uh, create a different meaning. Next, we have clause. Clause is a group of words with at least contain of a uh, subject and verb, and it has a complete, uh, it has their own complete meaning itself. It's uh, differentiated into two. It is dependent clause and independent clause. Dependent clause is the clause that cannot stand alone. For example, for the sentence, Annie said that they have they were so ha so happy. Uh, the clause. Any, uh, the clause they was so happy uh, cannot stand alone uh, and it uh, don't have uh, it on meaning uh, because it needs any said to have meaning next independent clause uh, independent clause the reverse of dependent clause it can be stand alone and it have a complete thought itself for example the sentence I enjoy eating meal Next, we move to phrase. Phrase is a group of which uh, belong together as a unit and stand without a subject or predicate. There are types of verbs uh, which I would like to uh, explain. There are noun phrase that use a noun as their head words. For example, young man, good girl, or car crash. And then verb phrase uh, that use a verb as their head word. For example, he will go there, or the call, the phrase was running. Running is the verb phrase. Uh, then preposition verb uh, that use a uh, that begin with preposition. Uh, a group of words that begin with a preposition. For example, uh, at store buy a car then we have adverb phrase a group of words with use a uh, function like an adverb for example next year too fast and last we have adjective phrase that uh, mo a group of words that modifies noun the example of a word phrase is quiet hard quiet serious and very uh, very very cold and uh, last we have sentence sentence is a synthetic unit composed of a fundamental constituent which usually a clause equipped with so equipped with conjunction if we need it and can be accompanied by final intonation in final intonation here if it's written it could be question mark or period for uh, the sentence in example is see you in a minute so that's our the explanation of the synthetic forms which is uh, about word close phrase and sentence next we move to the synthetic function uh, there are head modifier subject predicate and object first is head head is the most important in a sentence or phrase 
it it is the word that we refer to. For example, the sentence the tall man is sitting there. Or uh, the head of the sentence is the man because when we see the sentence the tall is referred to the man and sitting there is also referred to the man. So the man is the head of the sentence. Next we have modifier. Modifier is an additional word which is modify the head and also tell something something uh additional information about the head. For example, we have the sentence the cool guy with glasses is my next neighbor that have a cat. So there are two uh, around two or three kind of a uh, modifier in the sentence we have pre-modifier which is the cool guy with glasses then we have the head my neighbor and the post modifier is they that have a cat that is about modifier next we move to subject subject is a noun or pronoun that doing the action or performing the verb in a sentence for example she is pretty so she is the verb uh, uh, sorry, she is the subject. Uh, and also the sentence, Nina played a video game. Uh, it is, Nina is the subject of the sentence. Next we, next, we have predicate. Predicate is all of the rest of the sentence that is not subject. That the verb, all or the part that related to the verb. For example, Nina played video game. So played is the uh predicate next the last we have object object is the word or phrase that receives the action uh, uh for example never never tell everything at once it's a direct object everything the word of oh, everything is the object and i'll give you tickets to the show uh is an a direct indirect object that's all from me thank you for uh watching assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh